Augie and me, the shingling chapter. How Zima rocked her speech. Good morning, Dr. Jansen, Mr. Tushman, Dean Rubin, fellow students, faculty, teachers, and parents. I'm honored to have been asked to give the commencement speech on behalf of the fifth grade this year. As I look around at all the happy faces, I feel so lucky to be here. As some of you know, this is my first year at Beecher Prep. I won't lie, I was a little nervous about coming here at first. I knew that some kids have been here since kindergarten, and I was afraid I wouldn't make friends. But it turns out that a lot of my classmates were also new to the school, like me. And even the kids who have been here a while, while well, middle school is a brand new ball game for everyone. It's definitely been a learning experience for all of us, with some bumps along the way, some hits and misses, but it's been a wonderful ride. Earlier this year, I was asked to perform in a dance choreographed by Mrs. Antanaby for the Beecher Prep Benefit. It was amazing for me. My fellow dancers and I worked really hard to learn how to dance together as one. That takes a lot of time and trust. Now, you may not know this about me, but as someone who's gone to a lot of different new schools over the years, trust hasn't always been easy for me to give to people but I really learned to trust these girls. I realized I could be myself with them and I'll always be grateful for that. I think what I'm most looking forward to next year, my fellow fifth graders, is building that trust with all of you. My hope is as we start sixth grade, as we get older and wiser, that we all learn to trust each other enough so that we can truly be ourselves and accept each other for who we really are. Thank you. How I finally introduced myself. I had texted Summer and Zima the day I saw Gordy Johnson getting on an uptown bus, and we were all thrilled to know he was alive and well. There was so much else going on at the time, though, that we really hadn't had the chance to talk about it too much. We got excited, kept our eyes peeled to see if we'd spot him again somewhere else in the neighborhood, but we never did. He was gone. Again. The next time I saw him wasn't until the beginning of July. Suddenly, he was there again, sitting in front of the A&P supermarket awning, playing the same songs on his accordion that he had always played, his black Labrador lying down in front of him. I watched him for a few minutes. I studied his open eyes, remembering how they used to stare at me. I watched his fingers tapping the buttons on the accordion. It's such a mysterious instrument to me. He was playing... Those were the days, my favorite song. I went up to him when he was finished. Hi, I said. He smiled in my direction. Hello. I'm glad you're back, he said. Thank you, Missy, he said. Where did you go? Well, he said, I went to stay with my daughter down south for a spell. These New York City winters are getting tough on these old bones of mine. It was a cold winter, that's for sure, I said. That is for sure. Your dog's name is Johnny, right? That's right. And your name is Gordy Johnson? He tilted his head back. Am I so famous that you know my name? He asked, cackling. My friend Summer Dawson knows you, I answered. He looked up, trying to think of who I might have been talking about. Her father was in the Marines, I explained. He died a few years ago. Sergeant Dawson. Sergeant Dawson, he said. Of course I remember him. Glorious man. Sad news. I remember that family well. You tell that little girl I say hello, okay? She was a sweet child. I will, I answered. We had actually tried to find you. Summer and I were worried about you when we hadn't, when you weren't here anymore. Oh, honey, he said. You don't need to worry about me. I make my way around all right. I'm not homeless or anything. I got a place of my own uptown. I just like to have something to do with myself. To get out with Johnny, I take the express bus in the morning right outside my building. Get out the last stop. It's a nice ride. I come here out of habit, you know? Nice people here, like Sergeant Dawson was. I like to play for them. You like my music? Yes, I said. Well, that's why I'm out here playing, girl he excitedly said, to brighten up people's days. I nodded happily.
Okay, I said. Well, thank you, Mr. Johnson. You can call me Gordy. I'm Charlotte, by the way. Nice to meet you, Charlotte, he said. He extended his hand. I shook it. I better go now, I said. It was nice talking to you. Bye-bye, Charlotte. Bye-bye, Mr. Johnson. I reached into my pocket, pulled out a dollar bill, and dropped it into his accordion case. Swoosh. God bless America, said Gordy Johnson. The end.